Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna play a little bit of uh, Hearthstone here. Let me get some music back on. And so uh, I'm gonna continue my arena run that I started on the Twitch stream. I'm four and one right now with a warrior deck and I'm just gonna call it right now. This is gonna be the nine and, you know, we're gonna go nine. Nine wins, no more losses, not allowed. And uh, just see how it goes. So I figured to play, play some for YouTube. If you haven't seen any of this, um, this is from Twitch. So, I like to do a lot of Hearthstone on Twitch because it seems like a very good game for kind of live feedback from people and it's a lot of fun. Good game. This deck, by the way, um, probably should have looked at the cards before starting the first game, but I forgot, so. I'll show you in between this game and the next. But it is a, uh, it's a pretty good arena deck. No legendaries. I don't even think I have an epic, but very good, solid deck. Uh, it relies on Raging Worgens. I've got two Raging Worgens and two Frothing Berserkers to do a lot of damage. I think we'll get rid of this and this. We'll keep the first Frothing Berserker. That's eh, okay. Could be better, but... And there's the other card that it really relies on. So the great thing about this, so the Cruel Taskmaster has the battle cry, deal one damage give him a, and to give a minion plus two attack. When you use that on a Frothing Berserker, he basically ends up gaining three damage, right? I've also got a couple of, um, what are they called? Shoot, I've actually forgotten the title. It's the uh, Gurubashi Berserkers. And with those, they gain five attack each time you use Cruel Taskmaster or Inner Rage or whatever it's called. So we'll see how well that works out for us. Of course, I'll probably end up getting beaten because this is being recorded for YouTube. It happens. Now, Whirlwind works fantastic with the Frothing Berserker. You can damage a whole bunch of different units, and these get buffed up whenever any minion takes damage. Not just your minions, but any minion. So Whirlwind works great, especially if there's a bunch of units on the, on the map. Because then they all take one damage and then buff it up. This also works really well with the uh, Battle Rage card, because you get lots of card draw. Well. Interestingly, he's trying to do lots of damage directly to me. Okay, that's kind of, kind of fine. Hmm, I'd hate to take three damage on this unit. I think I'd rather cleave. Get him buffed up a bit. And even though I'd like to buff my unit, I, I don't really want to, to, to damage this unit this early or take any more direct damage myself. The other great thing about the Cruel Taskmaster is you can use its battle cry offensively as a one damage nuke. Very similar to like an archer or something. Doing that one one damage on on summon. So I like it because the the synergy in this deck is, is pretty solid. I can use these offensively. You can also use inner rage offensively. Next turn will probably be a uh, either a taunt to protect this guy now, most likely. A druid's probably not gonna have a lot of card removal. Yeah, I think we'll throw out the taunt to protect both these units. And I think I will also... I'm going to really buff this guy up a lot. I'm going to go ahead and whirlwind right now. Four damage, he'll go up to nine, three. Now I'm going to suicide this guy in here. Now he'll be an 11, three. And direct damage to the enemy. I'm telling you, the Frothing Berserkers and the Raging Wargans in this deck are they are amazing. And he's protected behind this taunt now, so we should be in a pretty good spot. I might even be able to kill him next turn. What to do? What are you going to do? Wrath? Starfire? Silence? What are you doing? Your magic shall Silence. Not save you. Okay, it's a good move on his part, otherwise he was gonna die. And he's gonna take out my guy. Okay. Alright, so he's he's back in it. Good for him. Got my war golem for later. 
I think we'll do a that plus that. And he's so low now that I think I might want to start focusing on killing his units. Or sorry, killing him directly. I mean, I find that in Arena, a lot of people avoid healing spells. They're too focused on spells, like offensive spells and summons. So like Druids, I don't usually see in Arena having like a healing touch, for example. Alright. No weapon on his side. I could throw up my War Golem. I'm not going to be able to kill much at this point. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll weaken it. It's fine. I'm going to kill it next turn. He might get some direct damage in right now, but I'm, I've got a 15 point health advantage right now. What I'm really looking for, I only have one Battle Rage, unfortunately. And I think I only have one Whirlwind. Took the extra taunt. He's worried about being low on life. Two for one trade, that's okay. Ooh, Emperor Koba against that, perfect. Excellent. In fact, we've got eight mana, so I think we'll go with the Emperor Cobra, this thing, and then turn that. Oh, I can't count, I'm sorry. Obviously, 5 plus 5 would be 10, not 8. But we'll use the Emperor Cobra to kill this big beastie guy. Hopefully he buffs it, or... I He probably won't do that, he's probably not dumb enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of late in the game for that to be useful. Unless he gets lucky and he's got... Oh, are you going to do it? You are lucky. It did hit the wrong unit. Lucky, lucky. Very, very lucky. There's a 33% chance of that happening. Ah, okay. He had another summon. That significantly improves his odds. Well, that's not good for me. Um, not at all. Hmm. Very unfortunate for me. This will be tough to come back from at this point. Maybe. I mean, I'm. I'm. I only have one card. I never got my battle cry, my uh, battle rage. Now would be a pretty good time to use it because I'd get at least one, two, three cards. Plus, I get some extra damage in. Yeah, he's gonna try to rush me down. He might even have me. And now, yeah, he's got me. No taunt. Boo! Well, I guess that's what happens when you try to call a victory. Where did that turn around? Hmm. Oh, well. So much for the 9 and one playthrough. We'll play another. We'll take a look at the, a little closer look at the deck. So, the inner ages, I didn't see any of those. Um, they work quite well, though. I do have two whirlwinds. One Fiery War Axe, one Cleave, two Slams. Armor Smith would have been useful to boof up, bump up my life a bit. Mana Addict kind of works all right with the synergy as well. There's that Battle Rage. I also never got my Shield Block. I did see one of those. I got rid of the Cult Master at the beginning. Yeah, I just, I don't know, it just didn't happen. Oh well. The thing is, too, about Arena, that the higher up you go in wins, you end up playing against people who are equal. So... Now, if I'm four and one, I'm gonna probably end up playing against someone who's four and one or four and two. Maybe someone who's five and one, you know, something like that. So the first few wins are definitely the easiest wins compared to uh five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we'll see. I still feel like I just got kinda unlucky. With my card draw, my card order. Whirlwind with the Frothing Berserker early on. I'm going to get rid of the Cobra because that's usually reserved for big units for me. Twin Whirlwinds and a Frothing Berserker. Perfect. That'll go just fine. And I get a Worgen too. 
The worgen usually works better, um, especially if you go second, if you do a summon him on turn three. Or sorry, summon him turn two with coin. And then in turn three, you go inner fire, inner fire, or inner rage, whatever it is, and then you buff him up to a uh, an eight one unit with wind fury. You can do 16 damage on turn three. Quite powerful. But uh, no, we're just going to pass this turn. Turn two, I'll probably get out the Frothing Berserker. Mind if I roll me? Not a big fan of that unit. So, the Raging Morgan or the Frothing Berserker? 2 4 versus a 3 3. I like the Frothing Berserker better. In this scenario. He's, he's very likely to suicide this unit. Oh, he's actually going to kill my unit. No. Too bad for me. I was thinking he'd be likely to want to suicide this unit in order to get the card draw. But no. That heroic strike was an alternative solution. All right. Um, hmm. I don't really have a good way to kill that thing. I don't want to suicide my worgen. I could kill it pretty easy just by doing a quick whirlwind. That would enrage this, allowing me to kill that and turn it into a 4-3. Actually, a 4-2. Four, four I could Whirlwind and Shield Block. Yeah, that gives me... it'll wipe the board. I hate to lose the Worgen and not actually be able to use this Wind Fury, but well I don't like him having that, that taunt out. Not played, be thirsty. Yeah, I think I'm going to get my stealth out. I can use the stealth to kill his unit before I take any damage, unless he inner rages or something to make it bigger, or throws a taunt out to protect it. I can pretty easily kill that with my stealth. Worst case scenario, I can fire your war axe into a whirlwind to kill it. Looks like he's going to buff it somehow. Inner rage? Pass me that arc light no, just another summon. Okay. I can take... The Interesting. Okay. Cleave deals two damage to two random enemy minions. Do, 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 do. I want to kill that guy because he's going to get scary. What now? I would also like to get the extra armor from him taking two damage. I could then cleave and then whirlwind. Should give me more armor. Kills one of them, there's still gonna be one unit remaining. Or I could just play my taunt. Oh, or I could play a weaker taunt. Let's do that. We'll do the weaker taunt. So armor smith first. You second. Kill him. I'll gain one armor. We're in a decent spot. I don't see him having a ton of spells and making this thing terrifying. And even if he does, he's got to plow through the taunt, which will give me more armor. Alright, that kind of works, but it's going to come into play next turn. Actually did not bother to attack. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and... what? See, this would be a great position for me to be in if I had my Battle Rage. Because I could Whirlwind and Battle Rage and get six card draw. Instead, I think we will cleave first, see what we hit. Alright, that's fine. I'll kill you with him. 
Get one armor. Am I okay with suiciding two units to kill that thing? Should I just get direct damage in? I'll just get direct damage in. Let's leave it on him to do something with it. I'm at 31 to his 24. He's got a card advantage. I need my... I really need that Battle Rage. I wish, that's the only thing about this deck I wish was better. If I had two Battle Rages, i feel a lot better about it. Alright. Come on, Battle Rage. Give me my Battle Rage. Ah! Alright, so we're gonna do my taunt. Ah, shoot. Should've played that after. Darn it. Actually, that'll give me more armor this way. Gain three armor from that. Armorsmith is a, is a pretty good card. I really do like it. Needed that battle rage. We must cleanse the sun well. Charge forward. Slam. Well, at least I can get some cards out of it, but I can taste the mana. Job done. Yeah, I think this is going to turn on me pretty quick if I don't get that darn card draw. I probably should have not armored up and I should have gotten the Raging Organ out. Ugh, I hate the position that I'm in right now. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Good unit to play when you have the full board, or pretty powerful board, plus he's got the taunt, or sorry, the charge. Not good for me. Not good at all. He could do 12, 15, 17 direct damage. Which is only like two, two turns from death. And anything I summon is going to have summoning sickness. Now he can still do 12 direct damage, and I only have 17 life. He could throw out one more big unit that has 5 damage and kill me because of the Warsong Commander being alive. Yeah, I'm dead. He can charge. Game over. Well played. Preemptive well played. I hate that. You don't do it before. You just, you don't do that. It's like playing StarCraft and GG'ing someone before they've GG'd you. You don't, you just don't do that. It's rude. It makes me mad. Well, that was the end, apparently. So, never mind. This wasn't going to be a uh, <laughs> very successful arena run, after all. But we still got four wins. I got a card. Interesting. Soul of the Forest. And 45 gold. Not bad. Let's check out that pack, see what we end up with. Oh, I think I saw an epic. There's a there's a rare. No, no epics. Got a mass to spell. Okay. Go to crafting mode. We ended up with quite a few cards I already had. I already had that rare, apparently. But we got 40 dust. Which is useful. I can make new stuff with that soon. So cool. Alright, well thanks for watching everyone. See you again next time. Thanks you. See ya.